Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and today I am going to teach you about the first reading strategies that is contextual clues. Okay, first I'm going to show you what is uh, what are contextual clues and then later we are going to take a look at how contextual clues is going to be asked in your final reading test. Okay, now let's start. First, what is contextual clues? Contextual clues help us to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words. So the clues can appear in a few ways before, after, or within the words, phrases, or expressions. So the types of contextual clues are first, definition and explanation clues. We have synonym and restatement clues. Antonym and contrast clues, example clues, experience clues, cause and effect clues, affixes clues, and inference clues. So again, contextual clues is actually the clues that is available within the context of the article that you are reading for you to be able to guess the meaning of some unfamiliar words. Okay, so when you read, and you come across uh, some unfamiliar words, so you don't have to exactly refer to the dictionary, but you can actually look for the meaning of the words by using the clues that is available within the article. Okay, now let's take a look at the first uh, clues, that is definition or explanation. The definition or explanation of the unknown word appears in the sentence that precedes it. Generally, this clue is signaled by the phrase that is and punctuations such as comma, okay, dash, as well as parenthesis. So this, okay. For example here, various theories. So what is the meaning of the word theories? So the clues is here, comma, or ideas were suggested about how the murder had happened. So in this case, theories means ideas. So the author here actually provides us a clue. After the word comma, the word this word is has the same meaning as this word. Okay, to provide better understanding for the readers. Okay, next clue is synonym and restatement clue. What is the meaning of synonym? Synonym means word that has the same meaning. Other words with similar meanings are used in the sentence. For example, the slender woman is very thin that her clothes look a few sizes bigger on her. Slender woman is very thin. So after the word is, is the definition of this. So you can, in, you can guess that the word slender here means thin. Okay? Next, using antonym or contrast, the opposite meaning. A word or group of words that carries the opposite meaning of the unknown word is given in the sentence. Generally, this clue is signaled by the use of even though, whereas, unlike, and, as opposed to. Okay? To signal the opposite meaning. The example here, the flight departure time from Kuala Lumpur is 9.40 a.m. Whereas, okay, to signal contrasting or anthony, the opposite. Whereas, its arrival time in Alostar is 10.40. So, arrival means the opposite of departure. So, what is the meaning of departure here? Departure means leaving. Okay, moving on to the next clue. The next clue is examples. Examples are provided to define the unknown word. Foods which are nutritious, for instance, fruits and vegetables, help human growth. So what is the meaning of nutritious here? So you can guess the clue. Nutritious means healthy because you have here fruits and vegetables. Okay? So fruits and vegetables means it's nutritious, so it means healthy. 
Okay, next clue is experience clue. How people or things act in a given situation can be related to the reader's own experience. This knowledge provides clues to the meaning of the unknown word. For example, Nandini prefers solitude as she lives alone in an isolated cabin on the small island without any telephone connection. So from the experience here, okay, this sentence, you can guess the meaning of solitude is being alone. Next clue is cause and effect. The reason for or the result of the unknown word is explained in the sentence. Generally, this clue is signaled by the use of so, since, because, thus, and therefore. So all of these uh, words is cause and effect clues. For example, she wanted to impress her dinner guests with the food she served. So she bought a culinary art book. And study it the whole week. So, what is the meaning of culinary? The meaning is the the meaning is food preparation. Okay. Okay. Affixes clues. Affixes, which is a prefix and suffix, can provide direct clues to the meaning of the unknown word. Generally, this clue is signaled by the use of Prefix and suffixes like uh, pre, re, un, in, this, and miss. For example, here, she had to rewrite the report due to too many grammatical errors. So, what is the meaning of rewrite here? It means to write again. And last but not least is inference clue. What is the meaning of inference? A conclusion rich based on on reasoning and evidence so this is a, a what when we infer something means that we come to our own conclusion the meaning can be inferred based on the context given in the text for example nobody wants to be an underachiever he will never get good grades never secure a job and never be successful so based on this uh, sentence based on these words and phrases here you never get good grades never secure a job we can actually infer the word underachiever means to achieve less success than expected okay all right now let's take a look at the question okay all right, so this is an example of a question paper. Okay, let's take a look at from the beginning. All right, so you have two hours to complete. So for contextual clues, for contextual clues question, we are going to take a look at it. Okay, all right. So, this is a sample of the questions from the reading test. First, obviously, you need to read the article and make sure that you understand. Okay? And the highlighted or the bolded words here are the words that you have to guess its meaning. So, for this task, you cannot give the definition taken from the dictionary you have to give the meaning from your own understanding. Okay, now let's take a look at the practice here. Taboo in line 2. What is the meaning of the word taboo? Okay, let's take a look at the sentence here. The debate over the introduction of sex education in school continues to reach in Malaysia as it is still considered taboo. So what can you guess the meaning of the word taboo based from the context available? Okay, take a look at the next question. Curve, line 14. Okay, line 14, the word curve over here. Alright. In local newspapers, increasing cases on incestuous relationship, teenage pregnancy and pedophilia have made daily appearances in local newspapers, make the public 
especially parents, aware that sex education is paramount and it could curb social ills affecting the family institution. So what can you guess the meaning of the word curb based on the context given? And the last question is the word noble. So what is the meaning of the word noble as it is used in this passage? Because sometimes one word can have uh, can uh, one word can have different meaning. So you have to give the meaning of this word as it is used in this particular passage. So you have to give the definition of the word taboo, curb, deter, and noble. Or here, the word deter here. All right. He further explained that it has become necessity in this era, and more importantly, it will deter them from engaging in unwanted activity. Uh, all right. So we can conclude or we can infer that the word taboo means forbidden or prohibited. The word curb means restrain or prevent. The word deter means discourage, put off, scare off, stop. And noble means righteous or good. So you cannot give a full definition that is taken uh, taken from the dictionary. You have to give your own meaning. And you only need to put uh, only one word or a phrase. Okay? And um, you can give more than one answer, two or three. And then... We will see whether the meaning is the same as the question or not. Alright? Okay, so for now, that is what context to word clues is all about. Whereby you have to guess the meaning of each word as it is used in the context given. Okay? So for this question, the marks is for marks. Alright? So that is all. Uh, for now, thank you. We will continue the next lesson in the next video. Bye.